Tommy, congratulations on signing with Frank. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Is that an easy decision to make? Well, um, from what, what we sat down and spoke about, yeah, it was a bit of a no-brainer for what um, Frank offered and how we, uh, how we spoke on it. It was a no-brainer. And obviously, you know, you're making your pro debut later this year, I guess? Yeah, definitely. I think my um, debut will be May or June, depending when my management uh, decide, like, when we get me out, and I'll be ready to roll. <laughs> and, and tell us a bit, bit about yourself, because some people might not know who you are. I mean, let's, let's go back to the beginning. How did you get into boxing in the first place? I uh, started boxing when I was 14. I had my first fight on my 15th birthday, and then um, I've just rolled from there, really. I um, won two national titles. I've boxed for England countless times, and now I'm looking at turning professional with Mark Tibbs, Jimmy Tibbs. I've got Queensbury and Frank behind me now. It's the best platform with BT, so I'm ready to smash it, I'm ready to roll. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, is it, having, having uh, Mark Tibbs as your trainer? Yeah, definitely. Mark's been around the game for years. He's been there and done it as well as his dad. So I've got the experience with Mark. I've got a good strength and conditioner, Sonny Cannon. So, yeah, I'm just, it's down to me now just to crack on, get through the fights and step up slowly and then see where I end up. Now, you're six foot seven, which is the same height as Deontay Wilder. Um, I did see in an interview before that Mark said... You can hit as hard as him, but you've got a better boxing brain. Yeah, that's what that's what people have been saying. I'm definitely powerful, so I'm six foot seven. People have been comparing me to Wilder, but I'd like to think I'm a. I've got a good boxing IQ. I'm not saying I'm uh, Deontay Wilder or not, but um, I'm definitely. I've got a good boxing IQ, so um, it's going to be slick, tall, rangy southpaw. And that power is that, that that's I mean you can't teach that can you? Has that always been there from when you say you made your debut at 15? Yeah, definitely. You can't teach power, but um, you can do a lot of strength and conditioning. But I think since I've been young, 15 year old boy, I've always been strong, knocking out grown men from 15. So definitely, think I've been strong for years. Is that right? I mean, Chris, that must be quite embarrassing for them. <laughs> yeah, I think I've ended. I think a few people have packed up boxing after they've sparred me. But sparring, sparring. So I want to get in there on the night and do it under the lights, and that's where it matters, and that's where it counts. So Ebony Bridges as well, I mean, I saw an interview with her, she says you've knocked out, she's seen you knock out every person you sparred. Uh, yeah, I think uh, she's come away sparring with us three times and every three times I've knocked them out. But like I say, sparring, sparring, under the lights, that's where it matters and that's where I want to shine and perform because um, sparring stories is just stories, isn't it? So if I can do it on the night, that's where it really counts. Yeah, but the thing is, when other people hear these stories, they're going to go, no, I don't fancy that one. <laughs> yeah, definitely, but it's a long process, and I've got a long way to go. I'm only 20 years old. I haven't boxed for two years now, so I'm a, I've got a long way to go, so I'll step up slowly, take it easy, and then when the time's right, that's when we go for it. You say you haven't boxed for two years? Yeah, I've been, since COVID, I haven't boxed since a youth amateur, so I'm now turning professional, so that's what I mean. I'll take it steady and um, step up when I'm right. I want to be, I'll be humble, do you know what I mean? I've got a long way to go, I know that, but the right fights at the right time with Mark and Jimmy behind me, S-Jam, my management team, so that's where I want to go and that's where I want, I want to get to the top. Yeah, I mean, you just going back a bit, you said you started when you were 14. What got you into boxing in the first place? I always just wanted to get down the boxing gym, really. And um, one day I just went down there and then uh, I never looked back, really. I just done well, started off pads and bags as anyone should when they first start out boxing and start sparring before you know it. And then, um, yeah, just rolled with it, never looked back, really. And who, who did you get your inspiration from? What fighters were you looking at when you were growing up? To be honest, I... A lot of people have asked me that. I've just, I, I like watching all boxing. I watch all fighters, so I wouldn't say I've got a specific favourite fighter, but I just watch all of them, try, try to take a little bit out of it and then add it to my game, and then that's how you become an all-rounded fighter, I believe. And, and six foot seven, I mean, you're a cruiser at the moment. Um, do you make that weight quite easily? Yeah, in the amateurs I did light heavyweight, so cruise weight, I'm now building up to the weight, so I'm on the lighter and the cruise weight at the minute, but give it a few years, anyone that's six foot seven, I believe they'll struggle to make the weight when they're 25, so could possibly end up as a heavyweight, who knows, only time will tell. Yeah, and, and, and just finally, you talked about that power before, just talk us through, I think it was the European Junior Championships, that, that uh, there's one particular knockout that springs to mind. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have said that to me, I think I've got the um, fastest European stoppage that there is at the minute, um, I think it was against Armenia, he come out, double jab, backhand, straight on the bottom, uh, straight on the button, knocked him clean out, so I think there's a video floating about as well, so you've probably seen it. Yeah, I have, um, but... If, you, if you're bringing that sort of excitement in the, in the amateurs, I mean, if you take that through to professionals, we're going to have a hell of a fighter on our hands. Yeah, definitely. I want to transition my amateur pedigree into the pro, pro game. And I believe with power, you've got to have a good chin and a good jab. Definitely being six foot seven, I believe I can get, I get off to a good start in the pro game.